Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here about to do a um, acrylic pour. Um, I'm going to do a dip on bubble wrap. Why bubble wrap you say? It, it seems to give a nice textured effect on your finished work. It can give a really nice texture effect. And why not, instead of wasting this bubble wrap, reuse it in your art that's what i say so that piece um was too small so i use this bigger piece and what i've done is um, just put some masking tape to hold it down a little bit so when i lift my um whether you use a canvas or these are mdf uh placemats that i got from MDF placemats that I got from Kmart reversible so they've already got the one side coated uh, Kmart here in Australia so the one side is already coated grey so that's what side I'm going to use to dip onto is this grey um, and what I've done I pre-prepared this one is put the masking tape on the back just so I've got somewhere to pull whichever way I decide to pull my um, MDF up off off my dip, I've got these to hang on to. So it's a little bit crude way, but it works. So that's just with your masking tape. So I'm gonna load my colors up. This can either be um, finish off as, as a placemat, you could do a set and resin them after, so they heat, you know, able to stand hot plates on or um, I could make it into a clock. So I will explain as I go along the colours I'm going to use today, today, today. So I will start off, actually, I like to do a bit of a template. I am so crazy, crazy annoyed because I come into my art room and every single time my pens are gone. I mean, there's only my husband and my kids kind of have all left home, but they pass through. So whether they come and see a pen, they decide to take it and it drives me crackers. So I think they're doing a trick on me that knowing that it annoys me, they remove it. So I've just kind of done a template there to see. It gives me a guide of where to pour the paint so you don't waste the paints. But... Um, that is very runny i'm not going to use that because actually you for your dip it's so much better if you use your paint thicker so i'm going to um use my paint thicker as i've just said so i think i've got yeah i've got this white over here that's a fair bit thicker in yeah that's so much better so this is just made up with my pouring normal pouring medium and that info is in the drop down box underneath this video i'm using today i'm using all my global colors global products so i'll just put a fair bit of white on so that splodges out right here i like doing the chevrons because it always seems to come out a nice pattern uh, when you pull your dip uh, thing back up do a big chevron or big v's whatever you like to call them so this is the lovely tahiti righty -hey. And then I will go the Dark Sea, which is one of my favourites. Well, they're all my favourites. I love them all, but they really love this too. It's the Dark Sea. So this is one of the first sort of style videos that I did on a, a round. And I think it's got, a, I, I don't know, 700,000 views. I've not reached a million views on any of my youtube channels i have reached a million 1.2 million views on my facebook short videos but i've never quite achieved that on a um youtube video so there you go it's on my bucket list 
my over 60s bucket list <laughs> one day one day but yeah so it was very popular when I did this particular pour on a round canvas now this is called wicker not actually sure whether they do this colour anymore oh and I've got a fly buzz off so I'm really hoping these colours go beautifully together because I think I want to make this particular one into a clock um, but like I said you could make it into a placemat, a trivet which I've done before made it into a trivet for the kitchen or whatever to put in the centre of the table uh, I'm going to really pop your socks now and go with the cool red so I'm going to do this in a wiggly motion So doing that um, sort of template marking around, it just saves you not putting paint where you really don't need it. Right, there you go. And I'm going to put in some of my purple. Let's see what deliciousness I get with this crazy, crazy concoction. Rightio, and let's hope it works. So I want to try and keep my hands clean so I don't dirty the back of the board. So here we go. Let's just drop it in. And then I'll just press it on the bubble wrap. I mean, you can slide it around or swizzle it, but I find if you swizzle and slide it, you have more opportunity of sending your paints muddy under there by kind of machi machine washing them all together. It kind of can send them real muddy. So it's been a while since I did one of these on an MDF board. These placemats are about $3, so you know so much cheaper than a canvas really and you can you can still hang it if you so choose you just put the hardware on the back of this and these do not warp at all whatever they do with them they don't warp so let's quite firm you push it down so the paint transfers but don't get all concerned if the paint doesn't transfer because you can also pick up your balloon and fill in spots. I am just grabbing at this particular time a um, one of my old cake trays that I'll put the work onto. So let's hope. Let's. Ah. Oh, silly jelly. Oh, 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 looky, looky. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is beautiful. Colours, everything very happy Jen oh look at this what can I dip in that I've got a little canvas here got a little canvas let me let me dippy dippy I've got a small canvas here so I could just add some color more color to that and um, might as well hey rather than um got a small canvas I have got another round there but I'm just too worried that it might go a bit muddy but look at that wow that's gorgeous I'll bring that back to show you I'm just going to um, use a bit more of this to dip that lovely little canvas and like what I have been doing is doing these little 20 by 25 canvases and um, I intend giving them as gift at Christmas time instead of giving a Christmas card. So that's something they can keep up all year, uh, all year long from me to them, whoever I may give them to. <laughs> so I'm just wiggling on a little bit more paint here. Get crazy. Those colours, absolutely. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Just doing the wiggles one on this one. I must put a bit of more of that purple because I, oh, I did put the purple. Red, I'll go red. 
colours are very, very nice together. Okay, I think that'll do. I'm getting carried away here. So, never had a chance to put something on the back of my canvas to... Ooh! May have been better if I just make sure I've got some white in the corners. Just in case I don't... Yeah, this is like quick, quickly improvising. Just like you're spreading your butter, your butter on bread. Let's give it a quick spread. Let's give this a go. Exciting. Oops, nearly dropped it in. Silly jilly. Radio. And just push this in just the same and press your hand down like I said you don't really want to twizzle it because the paints will muddy up I think but super duper happy with that one radio which way should I lift it Ooh. oh looky looky oh my goodness that is gorgeous see that's nice to give for christmas instead of a chrissy card let me pull this one over let's put it over the top of that and that one i better get another rack goodness talk about crazy house crazy house oops now i'm getting overly excited that's gorgeous as is. I'm just gonna absolutely put a few little balloon kisses. Oh look, wow, they have come up beautifully. That one didn't so much, but just trying to see if I've got any gaps anywhere. Can you just give it a, a gorgeous little balloon kiss? Why not? Oh, that is super sweet. Love it, love it. Very nice. I mean, if you want a little project to do with your grandchildren or your children on the holidays, well, what's, you know, more fun than doing, creating together a piece of art when you don't believe you've got an artistic talent in you and you do something like this that is so easy and fun. And look at that it's beautiful so there you go my two pieces I'm very very happy with and look at the lovely little kisses that you get out of it all right my lovelies I will put some photos of the dry finished pieces it's a project for you to do get the grandkids get you get your girlfriends get your hubby wow 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 super happy with that both of them really really hope you guys enjoyed that as much as i did i'm like a kid in a candy store i still love creating these acrylic art pours all right if either or anybody out there is feeling sad lonely or depressed please don't suffer alone ring a family member or a friend and <laughs> that's my resident uh what do you call them? No. Ah! Lizard or whatever you call them. But anyway, yeah, please ring a family friend, family member or a friend or a helpline. Do not suffer in silence. Until tomorrow, my lovelies. Bye for now.